the highest honor God the Father gave unto man is the Holy Spirit. The highest honor God the Father gave to man is the Holy Spirit. That means God the Father honored his church by giving the Holy Spirit to his church. The church received a first class honor from God the Father by receiving the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit in the church is the greatest commitment of God the Father and God the Son to the church. The Holy Spirit in the church is the greatest commitment of God the Father and God the Son to the church. That means divinity enter an agreement with humanity by the instrumentality of the Holy Ghost. Divinity enters into an agreement with humanity by the instrumentality of the Holy Ghost. God has already bestowed His Spirit. And as the Father honors His Spirit, the Father honors us. As the Father honors His Spirit, the Father honors the church. That means it is a great honor for us to receive the Spirit of God. And it is a great honor to the Spirit of God for the church to be given unto the Spirit. Hmm. That means on the day of Pentecost, both the church and both the Spirit of God receive honor. The church receive honor from the Spirit, and the Spirit receive honor from the Father. In Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1, Isaiah, the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1. It says, Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my helmet, in whom I so delight, I have put my spirit upon him. I have put my spirit upon him, he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. That was Jesus Christ. I have put my spirit upon Jesus, he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Isaiah chapter 42 was a prophet's prophecy in the old dispensation about Jesus that was about to come in the new dispensation. The Father honored Jesus by placing His Spirit upon Jesus for the assignment given unto Jesus to be fulfilled. I have put my Spirit upon Him and He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. So without my Spirit upon Him, there is no how He can bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Despite the fact that Jesus was the God made flesh, he could not operate as God on earth without the Spirit of God. He was God made flesh, 
but he performed all his miracles as a man, not as a God. He performed all his miracles. Jesus performed all his miracles as a man and not God by engaging the power of the Spirit. So God refers to the Holy Spirit as his own spirit. The Spirit is the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God. And the Father has already honored him by delivering that Holy Spirit to the church, to honor the church. In Isaiah 59, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 21, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 21, it says, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, see the Lord, from henceforth and forever. There is a revelation knowledge in that verse. And there is a mystery that is applicable in this generation, in that verse. He said, I have placed my spirit upon thee, my spirit, my Holy Ghost. The Spirit is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. I have placed my own personal, my personal spirit, my own spirit upon thee. And the moment the Spirit came upon him, the words of the Lord came from, flow from his, his mouth. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and the words of God flowed freely out of his mouth. So that means the Spirit is the carrier of revelation knowledge. The Spirit of God is the carrier of revelation knowledge. For revelation knowledge to flow out of your mouth, you need the Spirit of God And for revelation knowledge to flow from generation to generation, they need the Spirit of God. It is the Spirit of God that carries revelation knowledge from one generation to another. The Spirit of the Lord came upon God's servants, and the words of the Lord flowed freely from his mouth and the words never depart the words never depart from his generation he seed and he seed seeds were beneficiaries of a single impactation That means the Spirit of the Lord honors the church by allowing the revelation knowledge of God to saturate the church. Remember God said that in the last day, the knowledge of God shall cover the head as water covered the sea. The mystery behind the knowledge of God covering the earth is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of the revelation knowledge of God. In Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 39, Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 29. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 29. It says, 
Neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord God. He has poured out his spirit, and God cannot hide his face from his people. God cannot hide his face from the church. The house of Israel represent the church of God. The church is the spiritual Israel of the 21st century. The church is the spiritual Israel of the new dispensation. God has already released his spirit upon the church. And he has released his spirit into the church. So that the Spirit of God can dwell in the church. The Spirit of God can dwell in the church. It is impossible for God to hide his face from the church. It is impossible for God to take his salvation away from the church. Because the Spirit is the seed of that salvation. In Agai, Agai, quickly please. Open to Agai. Agai chapter 2, verse 5. Prophet Agai, chapter 2, verse 5. It says, According to the word that I have covenanted with you, when ye came out of Egypt, so my spirit remained among you, fear ye not. My spirit remained among you, and the seal for the covenant is the spirit. The seal for the new covenant is the spirit of God. The spirit of God is the seal for the new covenant. We've received the new covenant. On the day of Pentecost, and the seal for the new covenant is the Spirit of the Lord. Please write it down. The seal for the new covenant is the Spirit of the Lord. The Father has already honored the Spirit. The Father had already honored the Spirit, and the Spirit dwells in you. The Spirit dwells in the church to honor the church. God cannot take his salvation away from his church, because where there is Spirit of the Lord, there is presence of the Lord. And where there is presence of the Lord, there is honor and there is favor. 